Welcome back everybody to another episode of If It Floats, I Boats, and man, we have just been sent a ton of these, where people have taken actual land-based vehicles and converted them into, well, boats. Kind of like what we're going to see right here, and this may be one of the only, if not the first, world's first amphibian motorcycle. There may be something else out there that I've missed somewhere. I've seen the four-wheelers, I've seen the car conversions, but I have not seen anybody actually take a motorcycle or a scooter and turn it into a water-based vehicle, which is exactly what we see here. We now have a taxi cab, ferry, and personal transportation all in one. This is located over in Brazil, and I'll tell you what, this is a pretty genius idea. My man really found a way to go ahead and convert everything to match his needs. He lives locally by some water, and people were needing ferry rides as well as taxi rides and basically he's converted this to where he can assist people in both. Here this amphibious motorcycle can be seen in action as it has a passenger being taken off the lake and it'll be pulled straight back on the land and from that point in time they can still take this vehicle and take him wherever he needs to go into town. This thing really is wild to see and it truly is a crazy concept. Something that was just born out of a need, somebody having a little bit of extra time, a little bit of ingenuity and being able to slap this thing together because this is a homemade amphibious motorcycle. This is not something that was pulled out of some manufacturer somewhere. This is something basically they took all the parts and pieced it together and this is what they came out with in the end. Now as cool as it is to see all these builds come out of people taking land-based vehicles and turning them into a dual purpose vehicle where they can get out on the water, it's still always nice to see people do their own job of taking things that were designed to be on the water but go ahead and engineering them into something a little different. Kind of like we see right here. The boating market's hot right now. I was just recently at a boat show and some of the pricing I saw was absolutely unbelievable. But one of the things that even shocked me the most was the actual lack of inventory at the boat show. The organizer posted a map online prior to the show with posting several areas where boats should be located. Unfortunately, when I arrived, many of those areas were completely empty. When I asked the boat show organizers about that, they said almost 50% of the boats that were supposed to arrive for the show never came due to lack of inventory, which is leaving people to have to come up with other ideas to get out on the water. We had a frame made out of wood, but it was a bit heavy. So now we changed the frame to aluminum. Um, I thought it was gonna get really hard, but it's not, it's all right. It's a lot lighter. Does it have wood inside the, the metal? And it has got some wood inside. Um, the frame was soft, but just in case we put the uh, measure wood inside and it's got the cover so it doesn't get wet. This is definitely one intuitive way to keep yourself out on the water with a motorboat, even in a market like this where boat prices are soaring and inventory is unavailable. Seeing this design really did intrigue me a little bit to wonder exactly how much something like this might cost if somebody wanted to build just a way to get out of the island or the sandbar, which is exactly what this is. And really, it's relatively inexpensive by boat standards. I mean, you can get a couple kayaks in that six to $700 range, and that's if you want to go new, but you probably can find them on Facebook Marketplace, especially during the winter, for around $100 or $150 used. Then would come the motor. Now, we're seeing a lot of shortages in the motor industry, but when I really looked into it, that's more in the big boy motors. When you start looking at the small ones in that four to six horsepower range, there seems to be plenty of availability and you can get them for as cheap as around a thousand dollars. And at that price point, I probably wouldn't even go used. I would just go ahead and go with the new one with a warranty. And the frame itself looks like you could build it for just a few hundred dollars, which means even going completely brand new, I could probably set this whole thing up for around $2,500. And if I wanted to look at used, I probably could easily get this set up for under 2000 which is pretty cheap to get out on the water with a motor behind you. I mean, take a look. My man's out there boating with the best of them with a smile on his face like everybody else at a fraction of the cost and probably a fraction of the maintenance as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of If It Floats, I Boats. If you ever see anything crazy out on your waterways or you got a crazy boat you'd like to see featured on here, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know when you might see your story over here. Just like Mike Vance, Mohamed Boozlemod, Marvin Maverick, and a little of everything Brazil did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.